What's up YouTube, the kid's good here, and today I'm gonna go over five tips on how to win at Fortnite in the late game. And if there's something that you're struggling with at Fortnite, be sure to let me know down in the comments and I'll do my best to make a video where we cover that. Shout out to Eric Gaming and Vlogs, who in one of my last videos commented and asked if I could make a video where I go over how to not choke when you're building, and we go over that in this video right here. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn those notifications on because I make Fortnite improvement videos weekly. So let's go ahead and jump right into the five best tips on how to win Fortnite in the late game. All right, guys, so one of the first tips I want to go over is staying calm when the pressure is on. It is one of the hardest things to do, and I know a lot of people, and including myself at times, will struggle with this. When it's down to you and one other person or two other people, you kind of start to get nervous and a little bit shaky. And how I recommend overcoming this is you just have to take the pressure out. I think the reason a lot of you guys get nervous when you get into build battles or you get into these late game situations is because you don't want to die and get taken out of the game. You have to forget that because if you die and get taken out of the game, so what? You can jump back in the game and play another one. You have to forget the mindset that you're playing for winning and that you're just playing for fun. If you adopt the mindset that you're just playing for fun, I believe a lot of you will forget that nervousness. Instead, start thinking logically of how you're going to kill your opponent. When you run into somebody, your first thought should be, how am I going to kill them? Not be on the defensive like, oh my God, hopefully they don't kill me. And once you bring your mindset to the aggressive and not the defensive, I think that you'll find you'll start winning more fights. And you just have to adopt that. You know, when you run into somebody, you just have to think, how am I going to kill them? Oh, well, they killed me. Let's try to do it again. And then try to learn from your mistakes. Now, the next late game tip I have for you is high ground. And I know you hear that so often. And I've talked about it plenty of times. You know, get the high ground, get the high ground. Well, in this particular clip, and when you're in a situation when there are mountains like this involved, you want to take those mountains. You want to gain that high ground, and you want to do it for a couple of reasons. First and foremost, everyone is always trying to take those mountains and the, that high ground, and when you're up here and you're holding it, you know, nine out of 10 times, somebody's going to try and take, take it from you, and it's pretty much like King of the Hill, and so I recommend it because, you know, obviously we all know that height advantage wins fights, and not to mention, being on the tallest mountain inside the circle is going to give you a tremendous amount of visibility, and you're going to have a lot more knowledge of where where people are in the final circle so you know when we're down to four or five people and you're on the tallest mountain you can usually figure out where everyone is and it ends up playing out in your favor so as you can see in this upcoming clip I actually ended up winning on winning the game and the reason that I won the game was because I was actually up here and so as I dropped down he was on the lower level and it gave me the opportunity to finish out the the game but it's very important to note that I did have a sniper rifle had I not had a sniper rifle in this situation it may not have played out like this so if you plan on taking a mountain you're going to need to have a sniper to hold your high ground all right guys so the third tip i have for you is don't let people build up on you and what i mean by that is when you have a fortification already built and someone starts to build towards you do not let that happen and that is why in the new meta it is so important in my opinion to carry at least two SMGs, if not an SMG and a Tommy gun, something that has a relatively large clip and has decent DPS so that you can stop this from happening. So as you can see here, this guy is trying very hard to get to me, but because I have a Tommy gun and I have SMGs, he's not going to be able to get anywhere close. And so my goal here is I'm going to continue to spam him until I feel like he's getting comfortable and he drops down. Then I can build towards him because I'm forcing him into a defensive stance. I'm going to force him to turtle. So that that way he stops trying this and then he's going to have to try and rethink his strategy once he does that it's critical that you move very quickly towards him and i end up doing that right here and the reason you do this is pretty obvious but it's because you don't want them to have the height advantage on you if i didn't have spammable guns he would just continue to build over the top of me and then i would be the one at the disadvantage so as you can see i'm starting to run low on ar clip i'm down to smg so i need to force him into, into that defensive stance relatively quickly and then i need to get aggressive and get over the top on him now the timing in this was actually pretty perfect because just as i was starting to run low on ammo i noticed that he was going into the defensive stance and that's when i wanted to strike so now that he's in the defensive stance i have the height advantage right above him i've got just enough ammo that i can go ahead and finish the kill 
and I go ahead and do that. So um, notice that I'm still going to retain my height advantage. I don't want to drop down to his level unless I know it's a sure thing and it worked out. Now this next tip isn't necessarily a late game strategy tip, um, but it does work in the late game as well as you know any other situation that you run into, but it is third partying. So third partying is really important. When you hear two people getting into an engagement, you want to get over there as quickly as possible. And even if you're not going for a high kill game and you're playing relatively passive, you wanna do that for a couple of reasons. First off, you wanna get the meds and any ammo or guns that they have, but plus they're going to be relatively low on health so when you third party a team you're essentially cleaning up the kills so you know when you go in for a third party let's say there's only one person left they're probably pretty injured from the fight they were just in so you have a huge advantage to be able to take them out of the game and clean up the loot out of uh out of both people essentially so you'll see that i end up doing that here now i got really lucky because i actually lost this guy while i was third partying and he ends up over the top of me and he jumps down on me now he should have just stayed up there and took me out of the game so I got lucky and that's when third partying worked but you know that could have ended very bad but you know whenever you hear somebody getting into an engagement with somebody else you want to rush over there as quickly as possible and clean up those kills because it is such easy loot and it's another kill for you all right guys so the fifth and final tip that I have for you is going to be advancing to the circle before anyone else so when you are down to about four or five people and the circles are as small as they are in this particular clip you want to get to the circle before anybody else and set up shop because because when you get into the circle and set up and you're in a comfortable place, everyone else is going to be advancing towards you and then you have the advantage to keep them out of the circle and push them back into the storm. So. In the upcoming clip here, I'm going to go to the most safest part of the circle, and we all know that it's going to push on the other side, so I'm going to set up as far back as I can, and I know where one of the last couple people is, and so I'm going to be looking that way. So I'm going to get into a metal fort and start setting up here, and he's going to be my primary focus because he's so far away, and I know where he is. So as he starts advancing towards me, I'm going to instantly start throwing up shots and that's going to slow him down. He's got to throw up walls and ramps and everything else to stop my shots from coming in. All the while, the storm is going to be slowly coming in here soon so he can take as much time as he'd like. And I think he actually starts, yeah, he just starts sniping at me. Um, he should have been a lot more aggressive, especially in the, in the position that he was in. And so now that I'm in the safe zone, I can sit here all day. I can just wait for him because I advanced to the circle way before anybody else did and I pretty much have the advantage. So I'm gonna keep spamming shots. I don't wanna get overly aggressive because I'm safe. I, you know, if he wants to keep sniping, there's no need for me to peek up and let him get easy shots on me um, so I'm just gonna play it as passive as I can but I definitely want to lay down enough fire that he's not comfortable and he has to keep building so here we go the storm slowly starts coming in and I know that I need to keep him as far back as possible and he isn't advancing as quickly because I'm spamming shots now if I would have just come over here and just kind of built up and just kind of played really passive he could have got aggressive and started ramping up towards me but because he didn't I'm gonna use this time to just continue to put down the shots he's feeling the pressure the storm's coming in he doesn't have time to med he doesn't have time to build up and throw down anything i have literally just you know put him in an all-out panic and stopped him and as you can see here he just gets lost to the storms I hope you guys enjoyed these five tips on improving your Fortnite gameplay in the late game. If you stuck around this long, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn the notifications on because I make these Fortnite improvement videos weekly. And if you guys could, please let me know down in the comments below what you guys thought about this video. Thanks again and until next time.